Izira da izira pakati pe makomo richiti japera ameno anoramba izira da izira pakati pe makomo richiti japera ameno anoramba ero izira da izira pakati pe makomo richiti japera ameno anoramba uyondia dingari baba uyondia dingari baba uyondia dingari baba ameno anoramba uyondia dingari baba uyondia dingari baba uyondia dingari baba Nema zishe Rada izira Zapera Ameno anoramba Masa buku Nema zishe Rada izira Zaitwa Zapera Ameno anoramba Uyondia Dimari baba Uyondia Dimari baba Uyondia Dimari baba
Shang Mari Vaku Shora Namata Kuna Jesu Ie Ucha Kutambira Kumbira Kuna Jesu Tenzi Taungana Muno Mumba Yenyu Uya Nyiwo Sota Pinda Mumba Yenyu Sene Iyo
iye anondi gashira mumusha Dichamsi wa dichamsi wa apondi chazomi na na ye dichamsi wa dichamsi wa emajati muma wako ake. Chazo fara pazo kuona usu wake Ne kupenya pe maziso ake wa Moya wangu kumkuta ngeru doro ne muta Ano ndiga tira musha kumsoro Dicha mziwa Dicha mziwa Apo ndicha zomira na ye Dicha mziwa Dicha mziwa Nema jati muma wako ake Dino tondera awa Kanwi wakafa Kutinge rufu Tapata na na wa Apo jesu Auya na oti Chasangana Asindi chatanga Kuona jesu Dicha mziwa Dicha mziwa Apo ndi Mira na ye Dicha mziwa Dicha mziwa Ema jati muma wako ake Acha nditunga mira Kupinda mazambara Apo tisinga zowi ne urambo Dicha imba newe seri yorore kufaram Asindi cha tanga kuona jesu Dicha mziwa, dicha mziwa Apo dicha zomira na ye Dicha mziwa Chamsiwa Nema jati Muma wako ake Dichamsiwa Dichamsiwa Apo ndichazo Mira na ye Dichamsiwa Dichamsiwa Majati muma wako ake Dicha mziwa Dicha mziwa Apo ndicha zomira na ye Dicha mziwa Dicha mziwa Majati muma wako Dozi wa sengi di Dirin 
Kuna Kristu nzira nedi Andi chapu muki Ondi isa kuna baba Kumushawe mbiri Diri nzira Diri nzira Diri nzira Diri upenyu Diri upenyu Au ikuna baba usineni Diri Diri nzira diri nzira idi upenyu au ikuna baba usineni diri nzira diri nzira diri nzira idi upenyu au ikuna baba usineni diri nzira diri nzira diri nzira idi upenyu au ikuna baba usineni Ujiwena kangenyi uchirara Ujiwona mushawa wepejgo Muka umire upeke chishangu Chimbi zangu wa ya kupura Duduzi zenyi kaziri kunyongana Ziri kupunda kwa sozo ne kuchika Inzwa makumbo engoro zobunda Mujiwe na kaususa nonoke Usanyengezwe ne zejiro zenyika Rufaro rwayo runo pura Siyaruchi wane puma ye pasi Mujgi wena kachisi ya jese Misa musoro zisori tarise Uwone mbiri ya jesu mambo Ona kupenya kwa ke kumakomo Mujiwe na kaimba ufare Greeting saints Nukwa sayi mwose mstara jesu Mwerewano titira nyashava Nubatavu ushe mupenyo hedu Sata virenga Vesie di anasi, let's bow our heads in prayer. Heavenly Father in glory, we exalt your name, we bless your name for who you are. Here we are once again to open your word. Give us understanding, Father. Bring us closer to the throne of grace through the reading of this word. In the name of Jesus we pray, Amen. Today we are reading from the book of Zechariah. A lot of people love the book of Zechariah. They say it's the book of angelology. A lot of angels in the book of Zechariah. You find an angel coming, another angel going, and another angel, you know, angel, angel, angel after angel. Uh, that's what we, 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 we get in the book of Zechariah. And today we are looking at Zechariah chapter 3. Uh, we are just looking at some three, four verses from the book of Zechariah. Chapter 3, I read in your hearing, verse 1, Then he showed me Joshua, the high priest, standing before the angel of the Lord, and Satan standing at his right hand to oppose him. The writer says, he sees Joshua, the high priest, and Joshua is standing before the angel of the Lord, and standing on the right hand, of Joshua is certain. It's interesting that the devil or Satan is standing on the right hand and yet opposing. It confuses me because in Israel, maybe let me give you a bit, bit, bit of background. When, when the Bible talks about him standing on the right hand, in Israel, there are three types of courts. Court number one of these trivial little things, this one was gossiping about me and all that. 
consists of three judges. One on the left, one on the right, and one is the adjudicator. I believe you follow. Then the second one of other issues, somebody has stolen my cow, my car. Uh, there are 23 judges, 11 on the right, uh, on the left, 11 on the right, and the adjudicator. And then the last one, the Supreme Court, consisted of 71 judges, 35 on the left, 35 on the right. These are the ones who deal with national issues, treason. You know, when you want to take over, that's when this big uh, court sits. Now, those on the left, their work is to accuse their prosecutors. And those on the right, now follow me, follow me. Those on the right, their work is to defend. So when you walk into the courtroom, ukona varukuru boshi kono zote ndo varukunda accuse. Varuku right, no zote ndo varukundi 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 defend. Now, you, as soon as you walk into the court, you can easily see to see kuti ah, pana panya ni geisha ndi sunga ban. So, pana pati ni pana. Joshua is standing before the Lord, but problem is Papa Ndeguti, the devil is on the right and yet he is accusing. Because if you are on the right, you are supposed to be defending. But here he is, Arko accuser. In other words, he is actually, the other Bible says, he is denying him. Because remember, when Joshua goes before the throne of grace, Arko Takuranyaya Zake, Arko Takuranyaya Zake, Israel. So when Joshua is standing here, he's standing on behalf of Israel. When his shoulders is loaded with Israel. So therefore, if the devil is standing on the right and is like denying him, he is denying Israel the blessings of God. Now, I want them to understand. I want you to follow me closely on this one. The reason why the devil is on the right is because he knows he has one Joshua, he has one Israel. So when the Lord wants to bless, the devil will say, but you can't, you can't bless these guys. I know them. I have evidence. And by the way, did you know that when you take time to pray, you take your time, you, you really want to pray, everything is set. Then from Norway, a message rings on your phone. You check it. It's a friend that you haven't talked to. You last saw them when you were at secondary school. Now you are even married. There's so much to catch up. And you stop. When you're about to pray, to pray, the person very close to you is the devil himself. He wants to deny you prayer. And a lot of us have played to, into his game. We've fallen into the trap. Where when you're supposed to pray, then the kettle just starts boiling and it's flashing everywhere. There's noise everywhere. You stop prayer. Understand, when it's time for prayer, it's time for prayer. Whatever happens, hold on to prayer. But there are many people who instead of continuing in prayer, they stop. And finally, when you look at why he stopped praying, it's nothing much. The devil just denied you. So here, Joshua is standing before the throne of grace and he's being denied the blessings. I want to bless. Then, ah, ah, Lord, you can't. As we tell, uh, if you want to check, ch ch check around. If you go into a library today, there's a book that doesn't belong to you. It has no, 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 no name of yours there. There's some people, they take CDs, they take DVDs. You, you know, people, people are just stealing at will. And kana zata haru, vaka pa wano yangzo na matapa, defo anu vawa reminda kutipati woka, unu zotu ninyo ya kuka ya That's why the Bible says, he is standing at the right hand because he has evidence. And evidence yeah, in Ayo, is correct. Why? Because you were comrade in arms when you were doing stuff. I've always been surprised when you go to camp meeting or to prayer camp and the Bible goes missing. And an announcement is made. Please, and it disappears forever. And then you ask yourself, Sakapara Patinemba Vaire, also discovered, no man. Tina devil. 
who has come instead. He comes to say they are wrong. Now, he denies us because he knows. By the way, he keeps a correct record. If there is a time when the devil wants to, correct, to keep a correct record, is when he is talking about your sins. He knows them one after the other. And he presents them before the throne of grace. Especially when you are crying for a breakthrough. The Lord really wants to bless you. But he says, no, 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 you can't do that. So, maybe for you to understand it even better. Go to the time of Stephen. Stephen has been accused. You remember the story of Stephen in the book of Acts. And then the Bible says, they were ready to stone him. You remember? And... As they were stoning him. No, when, when, when Steve came in, into the court that day, all, let me repeat, all the 70 judges were on the left. Which means on the right there was no one. Now, when you walk into the courtroom and you see everyone is sitting on the left, that means what we judge, what a person, there's no need to go to that you waste that time to cheat about proceedings. I mean, you're finished. This is what happened that day when Steve walked into the courtroom. They were all on one side. And then the Bible records something that I think a lot of people don't pick. The Bible then records, then heaven was opened and Steve saw Jesus sitting on the right hand of God. Well, what it means then is he had no defense on earth, but he had defense in heaven. Which means, you and me, when things are tough this side of heaven, and the devil is on your case, you try this, it doesn't work, you try this. Remember, Jesus is still sitting on the right hand of God. As long as Jesus is sitting on the right, you have enough defense. So the story that is recorded in, in, in Acts, maybe it will make more meaning to you now. Why the Bible records that heaven were opened. All heaven was reporting to, 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 to Stephen is, Stephen, don't worry, you have enough defense this side. You may think you have failed down there. You may think they have let you down. You may think you have no defense, but you have enough defense in the throne of grace. So therefore, when now the devil comes and he stands on my right, pretending to defend me, when actually he's not defending me, he is also accusing me. This statement, we need time to deal with it. Where the person who is supposed to defend you is accusing you, then it messes the whole thing up. But let's continue reading the scriptures. I hope you have understood why it was important for us to explain what that means. And then on verse 2, and the Lord said to Satan, the Lord rebuke you, Satan. The Lord who has chosen Jerusalem rebuke you. Is this not a brand plugged from the fire? Joshua is not saying anything. The conversation is between God and the devil. Joshua is just standing there. He is being accused by the devil. Unfortunately, he's standing on the right hand, like he's supporting him. And then the Bible says, then the Lord spoke to Satan. Now listen to me. Don't fight battles that you can't handle. When the, the, the devil is attacking you, remain focused. There are many people who have left Christendom because when there were some fights, they decided to fight for themselves. When it comes to spiritual warfare, when you are a worker in the gospel ministry, don't fight battles that are not yours. Let God fight for you. For the Bible says, the Lord says, the Lord rebuke you, Satan. You and me cannot handle the devil. Doesn't matter who you think you are. It doesn't matter how much you think you are a prayer warrior. When it comes to devil, you can't. In fact, the other time in the days of Jehoshaphat, God says, this battle is not yours, it's mine. Let every Christian know you cannot handle the devil. Let God handle the devil. Some people will come to you running. We have heard people are saying this about you. Somebody came to me. I said, no checks. We have heard that uh, you, you are a satanist win. Wow, a satanist, fine. But don't say anything. What do you want me to say? People have their mouths, they can talk what they want. I mean, I can't control what people want to say. So what are you going to do? Let the Lord rebuke that. Let the Lord deal with that. It's not my issue. I can't go around asking people, so when I said what? Hey, when I, uh, uh, it's, it's not going to work. 
Before I became a Christian, I would worry as to what people are saying. But as I grew in the grace, I discovered it's wasting time. Let the Lord rebuke. Maybe let me also rebuke someone. You talk too much. Sometimes you talk yourself into some curse. Sometimes learn to shut up. Because you talk things that... You, you see the problem with these curses. Maybe we, sometime we'll get time to talk about them. The problem is some children, your children, who knew nothing about what we're talking about, are the ones who are going to suffer. Let the Lord rebuke. So the writer says... The Lord is dealing with the devil. Joshua is just standing there. And I want to say to you, if you are a child of God, there are things that God handles. There are things that you don't have to worry about. Yes, people in the church will talk. Yes, people in the church will lie about you. You know, sometimes people talk about you and you are surprised. They are they talking about me? <laughs> I remember at one camp meeting, the president of the conference took so long introducing the guest speaker. Until when the guest speaker himself stood up, he asked it, was that about me? When he was giving all the glory and he was surprised. Why, why all this? So let the Lord rebuke. Let the Lord rebuke with Satan. The Lord is the only one who can deal with the devil. Look, sometimes we think we are fine. We tell ourselves, no, I think I'm fine. When, when, things, when you are not fine at all, <laughs> you are not fine at all. I still want to advise, even if you think you are right, let God be God. Even if you say, I want to stand up for myself, not being a Christian doesn't mean I'm weak. You are actually weak when you start shouting. The strong ones will remain focused on the work that they are doing. And let me advise those of you who are in the ministry. The ministry is being fought left, right, and center by the devil. Remain focused. God is at work in your life. Don't listen to what people say. Because they will disturb you and you will never achieve your goal. Then the Bible says, Then the Lord said to Satan, The Lord rebuke you, Satan. The Lord has chosen Israel, Jerusalem. The Lord who chose Jerusalem rebuke you. Brethren and sisters, you did not choose yourself or you did not choose the Lord. The Lord chose you. According to this verse then, the Lord is saying, Satan, you can't handle this one. I am the one who chose him or her. Understand, is the Lord, the Lord took the initiative. Today you are singing and you are shouting, I'm a Christian, I'm more than conquerors. It's because the Lord took an initiative to bring you to where you met him. On your own, by nature, you can't follow the Lord. In fact, we want to run around with the devil and do things of the world. But the, the Bible teaches us that is the Lord who chose you. That's why he says, I who chose Jerusalem am going to deal with the matter. Then he tells the devil. Now, listen to what he's saying to the devil. He says, is not this a brand plucked out of the fire? In other words, God is saying to the devil, I have a history with Joshua. I have a story to tell with Joshua. We come a long way together. You know the little that you are saying about not blessing him. You know about Israel doing this and that. But we have a deeper story than what you see. My life, that's the Lord who is saying to, to the devil, my life and Joshua goes way beyond what you know. Because this is a brand plucked out of the fire. In other words, when Joshua or when Israel was on fire, I, the Lord, pulled them out of the fire. These are the remnant. I want to say to somebody out there, understand that when you see people coming to church, assembling in church, it doesn't matter in what state they are. They are a brand plucked out of the fire. They have a story. You don't know where they are coming from. You don't know their story. I've tried to rebuke my Christian brothers. Be careful what you say. There was a lady who was not coming to church for some time. And people started talking, hey, she's what, 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 what. Only to find her mother was very sick. Those brothers who finally went to her house to check, they discovered she had a sick mother. After I've talked to so much. So when you see a person coming to church after this coronavirus, one day people go back to church. When you see us coming to church, I am a brand plugged out of the fire. 
I have my own story to tell. Don't judge me by what you know about me because you never know what I've been doing with the Lord. So therefore, when Joshua is being accused, he remains quiet. The Lord jumps in. The Lord that we worship is going to fight for you. He loves you. He's the one who chose you. He knows where he's taking you to. You know only up to here where we are. But God knows everything up to the end. Therefore, you are blunt plugged out of the fire. There are people who when they were sick, sometimes they were told by doctors that ah, you are not going to make it in six months, you'll be gone. And now it has been six years. Your life, you have a story to tell with the Lord. Sometime we're doing testimonies at youth camp. And one young girl stands up. And she says, she's telling a story. She says, ah, I want to thank the Lord. As when we were young, we used to eat, to eat bread without margarine, even jam. And some of us in the village are wondering, so what is she crying about? At least she used to eat bread. Some of us would eat bread only on Christmas. Therefore, her story does not touch us. She has a different story from mine. Somebody will cry. We used to go to school with some tennis shoes. At least we had shoes. Some of us went to school with nothing, no shoes. All of us have a different story. There's somebody who was told by nurses that now you or your baby in the, in the, in the labor ward, you or your baby 50-50, but here you are. Your baby is big now. She's a big girl. And yet when you're in the labor ward, somebody told you that you are not going to make it. There are some people, I know some women who went to hospital when they were three months, stayed in hospital all the way through. They have a story to tell. So this is what God is saying. Isn't this a brand? I chose Jerusalem. And Jerusalem is a blind plug, 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 plugged out of the fire. There is no way, therefore, you can touch. This one is mine. I chose him. Christian, you have been chosen of the Almighty. You have been chosen from eternity to eternity. You have been chosen by a man who does not make a mistake. Therefore, don't allow anybody to push you around by what they say, by what they do. Hold on and remain focused on him who is the one who called you. Isn't this a brand plucked out of the fire? Isn't this the one who, when he was in fire, the Lord himself came down? There's a story of Zephaniah. Zeph is my friend, and I tell this story openly because he gave me permission to tell his story. Zeph was a criminal. Zeph was a criminal. He was attacking people, and he was a menace in the area. So he says he was the type of a criminal who, when he gets to your house, he will instruct you and your children and your wife to carry your TV and whatever he wants into the car outside. And when he is done, he will shoot in the air and drive, drives away. So, one time, he says he go to this house with some three guys watching TV, relaxed, and then he walks in and he tells these guys to say, I want you to carry your TV to the car. And these guys look at him and they say, who are you? Who, how do you come into our house and tell us to do what you are saying? And then he says, he shoot, shot in the air. And he says, do you know who I am? And these guys remain very relaxed. Like, I know, it's fine. But who are you in the first place? I mean, we don't know you. We, you haven't even introduced yourself. And he says, I started feeling, uh, uh, these guys, the way they are so relaxed, there's something here. And then he says, as I was talking to these ones inside. He saw someone peeping from outside. Then he says, I knew I was in trouble. I don't need two bullets in my gun. The other one is already gone. Now I'm left with one. And he says, as I was saying that, another one who is coming from the shops, innocently also walks in with his paper bags. And he says, I knew, no, 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 no. Today I'm in trouble. And then this one who is standing on the gate, who is this one? Hey, Wena, what do you want? He says, no, I want you to do that. He was waving his gun. He says he doesn't know what happened. But the next thing he knows, he was being beaten. Until he cried for help. And the community came. When the community came, they discovered it was Zef. Even those that had no issue, they started beating him. He says, that time, pastor, I was beaten big time. And he says, after they had beaten me, 
One came with 20 liters of petrol, poured it on me. In South Africa, they used that, that time they used to put some tires. Somebody came with a tire. And then he says, the Lord, he says, I, I, I prayed, Pastor, I prayed that day. I prayed, asking for the Lord to intervene. And he says, the way the Lord intervened, when it comes to striking the match, that's where God came in. Brother, do, no, it's your turn now. The other one says, no, I can't. No, I can't do that. No, I can't. I can't. When I, they started arguing about that. And he says, when I heard the siren of the police, he, he says, I thanked the Lord in a mighty way. Why? You know, there are times when you're a criminal, you hear the siren, you want to run. There are times when you hear the siren, you are, it's welcome. He says, that day, I welcomed. By the time they arrived, he says, I was still praying. And when they arrived, they took me in with a tire on my neck into the truck. And he says, I knew. Now, he was talking about, I am. He was, Zef was saying to me, he is a brand plugged out of the fire. He's a preacher now. He preaches the gospel. And he has a testimony to tell. He has a story to tell. So all of us, we have different stories to tell. Don't ever think no one has a story. Your story may be big, my story may be small. Don't underestimate people's relationship with the Lord. Brand plugged out of the fire. And remember, this is the Lord who is talking to the, to, to, to the devil. Joshua is quiet. I wish I had a way of re-emphasizing. Sometimes Christians remain quiet. Spiritual issues are spiritual descent. Don't get yourself entangled in things that you don't understand. Let God be God. Verse 3. Now Joshua was clothed with filthy garments and was standing before the angel. This Joshua is dressed in filthy garments. In other words, when you look at Joshua, there's nothing that qualifies him. But remember the grace. Hallelujah. The grace of God. Those people are struggling to get there. Things may not look right, but there is grace. There is mercy. Yes, you may have messed up. Yes, you are a thief we know. But all is well because he who chose us is ready to save us. So he's dressed in filthy garments. In other words, it doesn't matter how much you've tried to become a good Christian. Still your righteousness is like filthy rags before the throne of grace. And verse 4, then he answered and spoke to those who stood before him saying, take away the filthy garments from him. And to him he said, see, I have removed your iniquity from you, and I will clothe you with rich robes. What a faithful God we say. Remember, on the, whole, on the whole text that we are reading, Joshua never said a word. The devil spoke, and the Lord rebuked him. And then the Lord turned. It's like he was talking to the devil, and then he turned, and then he says to Joshua, look. No, he starts giving instructions to the people that were around Take out these filthy garments. I used to stay in a place called Warren Park, uh, back home. It was a place where there was this red soil. And my little girl, my firstborn was a little girl then. Um, for some unknown reasons, my wife used to like to, 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 to dress her with white clothes. It did not make sense to me. It was going to be better to buy brown or black. I mean... But, you know, my wife used to, you know, these little things, the frills, the what, what. Now, when we start from home, Kuenda <laughs> Kuchech, my daughter, Aning Achida Kubuda, Kutano Tamba. You know, from time I had to go to church, I had to go to church, I had to go to church. The only thing she had to go to are the eyes and the teeth, the rest. Yeah, I'm a color. But funny enough, and this is what I'm going to say. I'm going to school. I'm going to divine service. So she would go to her mother. On a tour of dress. Somehow she knew this service that I'm going special. Then she comes running to me with her hands raised already. Meaning, did you take off this dirty one and let me put on the clean one? Whenever I preach this message, I think of my daughter standing there with her hands raised. And a little dress, the new one, the clean one. The Lord said to the people who were around, take off the filthy garment and dress him. And then to Joshua, he says, look, I've caused your sin to pass before me. 
What a mighty God we save. Remember on verse 1, the devil was accusing Joshua. Remember on verse 1, the devil even crossed the floors to come and say, there is no defense. I know what happened. But when we get to verse 4, God says, yes, what the devil was saying is true, but there is Calvary. When your sins come to the throne of grace via Calvary, sin loses its power. There's a singer who sings, I need thee every hour. Temptations lose their power when thou art nigh. Meaning, Satan Wakaba che gumi. Tine rekodi ya kutu wakaba che gumi. Wakaita upo mge tino suziva. Zese zaka itika pa. Nukuti iwewe ndinda kakusaruza. Aziti kutufire suizo zo. Kwa kufa jesu. Iwe wakuita woku away free. Yes. Wakaeza Joshua. Wakaeza Israel. Kutuwe mchene. Zaka ramba. But. Daka kuzikinura. Nukuti nerudo. Wakuti iwe gwene kuponeskwa. So then. The, the, the writer says. Tarisa, naita kuti zui zako, zipfure, pamperi pechi garo changu. Andi zi, kutu wakaita zui zakadi. Because we have a tendency, kutarisa zui zedu, tufungu wati, eish, andi pani hai, pazinu zwa marina, nipo kwa niba, zui zangu zaka wandisa. Did you remember, nilu nilu mwe guta mwe, munaka wa zuka nza, I've done 18 abortions, pastor, eish, nita karo, wako, zuno wana, wachadiku, and, dakuta zuita mwana, usatarise kutu wakaita 18 abortions, asuna basa. Musu waka sanga na Jesus, you a new creature. You cannot be a person, a new creature, and at the same time, une issues za wakuta risa. And waka ipa, ndia ane tendenzi, kuya, achitruwa, you know, ahogo, you know, Christ, aga peri, you know, you know, you know, and yet, Christ, what no shumira, maru, what no shumira, vanot, kana waka mchira Jesus, tarisa, you know, Jesus, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, Kana paine mkazi ya nengai ni wana wakika na seven. Wa from different seven men. And uh, osanga na na jesu. Ayi zita ya zaharu kubawa ita pa mirono siya wana kuna mai. Asu sanga na na jesu. Baby ragu tisha achisi kwa chitza. You are not a patched up creature. You are a new creature. Mchachi mwaru kupinda emu momu. Usawe second class citizen. Aa. Uri first class citizen. Udu urichisi kwa chitza. Kana pakaduwa ya bache la my sister. Niwa na wako sefi ni wako. Usatombo tiza. Mira mira uone kwe. Nechiko nzeru chukuti ya new creatures. Kana wea kasta onda una kanzu kwa una wana, una wana seven. E ndeswe shuo. Doku anda kanga ndira siye zine iji. Now why by burichiti a new creature? A new creature is no history. So kana nda muna jesu. Na a new creature. History yangu has been deleted. Ayikone kuna mafiko niterisa nesu. Anda kanga nda kaita. Simbara Jesu racho ripa api manji. Kana mchisa mba mbitata biyondi suandaka mbenge ndi. Suandaka ngande ndi zoso patie zino. Ndiri chisi kwa chicha. Ndiriku famba na Jesu mupenyu utwa. Ngari ndu vawati kuna uyu. See, I have removed your, your iniquity from you. And I will clothe you. Ngari wane nyasha. Ah, nae ngari wanga wasina nyasha. Vamo yutu nga daiti singa pari zinotu kwa taka vakure. Vamo history zenu zino nuwa. My history stinks. But God is faithful. Despite all that, he still allows me to say his word to many people. Mariwaka naga wana wa mwari. Hazuna maaka kutu wakaita wakaita say. Mwariwaka vimbika. Ndo wakati. Atarisa. Zuhi swako zuhi senda zuhi foods. Iwewe sununguka. Kupina. And then. Ukazengu wako inda berine nyaya. Mwari. Wano mfege za hivi. Nguwani inora za utu mwariwaka rurama. Iwe neni, asunabasa utriku vakupe, asunabasa utakaitei, asunabasa zi. As long as tiriwa ni watanga upenyu wa upacha na jesu, let's walk tall. Ukangwa gamchira jesu mupenyu wako, usabvume kuita second class citizen, walk tall. Panike pachinzi varuku enda kumusha msoro kudenga simza rukuru, wako waka sununguka, shoulder high, usambo vunduka. Nukuti jesu, die mulizwe denga, risiriwa ni waka kutendiriza. Dae mwari wa titira nyasha, mkufamba kwenu mwari wendo rwechi kristu. Tago na uskwe dira pechiko na ozu wa nizuwa. Niku nzguisisa kutizimwe wondo za tulu lakuru wa zisi zedu. Ndeza mwari. Kati zisi yegu na mwari. Vazu itakure. Ndiyo wano zikona. Isu ati zikwanisi. Let's pray. 
Mwari makanaka. Uri mwari mtuene. Muzerene nyasha. Toku chenda ini izgirinyo. Ratimu uri mwari munore girira. Amutarisi kwa taka vanaku. Muno tangira patingi tatendi uka. Nezo suda kutenda ye baba. Nukutpane wa jinji zuwara nasi. Vacha visa maziso wapa kutarisa zwa wanga wari. Wakutanga kufokasa kwa muri mwari. Andona madramu ya mtuwe ni mwari wedenga. Kao yubate wana kumana ni wana sikana venyu. Wakone kuone kunaka kwe denga panyika edu, panyika inu. Wanzu kisise baba. Kuti they are brand plugged out of the fire. Makawa i remnant, makawa visa moto. Nukuti mnecha mnoda kuita navo. Mnechi nangwa navo. Donzo renyu gari za nsikise mupenyu. Wezi kuza zese za maka visa moto. Kuti mambo wenyu wasimu ziru wa rutuwe runo kwenenga. Muzita la jesu tanamata. Amen. Hati namu shapanyika. Hati farim kuwa pano. Kupenera mumoyo, Jesu ano bi 
yake Masitano na hizwa ndipo Masitano na hizwa Yeah.